Let's get through these top four and then the fifth team that was just uh, on the outside looking in. So let's start with Georgia. I want to talk about Georgia for a moment. Georgia's been the best team in college football for the better part of 18 months. All right. You cannot argue about that. I believe they're 31 and one in their last 32 games after really dominating an LSU team in the SEC championship game, scoring over 50 points. This is one of the things that I think has been new this year is that this Georgia offense has more confidence. Their defense is is good. Yes, probably not quite as dominant of what they were a year ago. Remember, this is a defense a year ago that only gave up 20 or more points one time. They did that in the SEC championship game when Bama kind of got after them in a game in which Georgia did not need to win. They did not give up over 20 in any other game. They've already given up 20 or more points this year four times. Not saying that their defense is bad. It's just not quite as dominant as what it's been in the past, in particular last year. Of the four possible teams uh, that you're looking at um, in the top four, they're clearly a number one team because of what they've done over those last 18 months. So then you start looking at, well, who do we want to play? We've earned the right to be the number one seed. Who do we want to play and where do we want to play? Well, it's very clear where they want to play and they'll play in the Ch uh, Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl right there in Atlanta. But then you have this question that you just started to ask yourself as last week was playing out. And you think to yourself, okay, of the four possible teams that they were going to play. See, I never thought Alabama was going to get themselves all the way into the mix. And that's exactly how it all panned out. So Georgia really, during the course of last week, they had four teams that they would potentially be matched up with in their semifinal. It was Michigan, Ohio State, TCU, or USC. Okay, those were really the four possibilities. You can make an argument that of those four, the toughest matchup for Georgia is Ohio State. So you can make an argument that as a champion and a number one seed, the week went about as poorly as it could have for Georgia. Save for them actually losing to LSU and not getting to take home an SEC championship. They've got to face the toughest possible opponent that they could have from those four. Now, why would you say that Michigan's not a, as tough of, of an opponent, Joel? Well, that's a good question because Michigan did beat Ohio State. The difference, though, is that Michigan is a team that plays a very similar style of football that Georgia does, whereas Ohio State plays a style of football that Georgia, at least in the last 32, is the style, the one style that actually gave them problems. And that was in the loss to Alabama last year when they had John Mechie and Jameson Williams, and they were able to throw the ball down the field. That's really what hurts this Georgia team. Now, can Michigan do it eventually in a potential championship game? We'll have to wait and see how J.J. McCarthy continues to mature. But of those four team, maybe Max Duggan with Quentin Johnston, but certainly with the roster that Ohio State uh, has and C.J. Stroud and Marvin Harrison Jr. and Emeka Abuka, this is the team that I think is the toughest matchup for Georgia. So being the number one seed got them what? The toughest possible matchup that they could have gotten leading into these playoffs.